Uh, we'll call this uh, graphing one. Uh, graphing two, I'll actually do the graphing, otherwise it will take too long on a single video. So the basics of graphing is this. You should probably use graph theory. You don't have to, but it makes it a little bit easier to see what's square and what's horizontal and vertical. Uh, you could use line paper, you could use clear paper, but it's a little more difficult to do. You do need a ruler, and you will need a protractor because you have to measure angles. Um, the angles will be uh, given by the coordinate system, where this is 0 degrees, this is 90 degrees, 180 is on your left, and 270 is directly downward. It's counterclockwise is positive. Clockwise clockwise would be negative angles. So this would be, for instance, a minus 90 degrees here. Clockwise is uh, counterclockwise would be positive. That's standard for math and, and physics. So there's two vectors. You have B, vector B, and vector A. Vector A, usually the line above it, uh, the line indicates when you're handwriting these letters, uh, this indicates that this variable is a vector. That little line above that. A is at 30 degrees. B is directly straight up. So we want to add them together. So first thing you do is you have to move them. You can't add them like that. You have to move them so that you place them tip to tail. That's the first thing you have to do. And how do we know? Then we're going to draw the result. And how do we know which way it goes? Well, imagine you're walking and you walk a little in this direction, up and to your right, and then you walk straight up. The net direction that you went in would be up and to your right. So that's how you, that's how you know where to draw the arrow. So we follow this through to its logical conclusion, and we get A plus B. A plus B points up and to your right. That's called the resultant. You measure the length of the resultant using a ruler, Okay, and then maybe two inches long, you know, for instance, if it's two inches, then it's 20 newtons. If it's two and a half inches, it's 25 newtons. So given that scale, two inches would equal 20 newtons, 2.5 inches would equal 25 newtons. That's essentially it. Or whatever units you're measuring in, pounds, meters per second, meters per second squared. And then you measure the angle of the result. Now the angle, that's a little trickier. The angle is always going to be measured from zero degrees. This is the angle. There's the angle you want from zero degrees. So that looks like it's going to be, you know, 60 degrees or something like that. You do not measure this angle. That's wrong. Wrong. You do not measure this angle. That's wrong. You do not measure this angle. Wrong. You measure the angle from zero degrees like that. Uh, this is not addition. When you place them, this is tip to tip. No good. No good. Tail to tail. No good. No good. That's not addition. It's not subtraction either. We'll find out how to do subtraction next. How do you subtract? Well, you have to make a negative B. B was originally pointed upward like this. The original B was pointed upward like that. To make a negative B, you just add 180 degrees. So in other words, if I had a B of, uh, of, of 90, 90 plus 180 equals 270 degrees. So there's a negative B. Negative B points directly in the opposite direction. How about draw a negative A? You add 180 degrees. For instance, if this A was at 30 degrees plus 180, it would tell me that the negative A would be at uh, 210 degrees. Negative A is 210 degrees. Why would I want to draw a negative vector? Well, if we want to combine if we want to subtract vectors, we use the negative of the vectors, because this way we know where their tail is located. So we move minus a, remember it was minus a, we move minus a until the tail coincides with the tip of b, just like that. And now, notice we have tip to tail. This is the correct way to combine them. 
and we have minus a. So in other words, the object went north, then it went kind of southwest, and the net direction of its motion was in that direction. So that's how I know how to draw the arrowhead. And that's b plus a minus a, which is actually equal to b minus a. So that's how we can subtract vectors too. We have to form the negative vector first, and then we subtract them. So that's the uh, basics of, uh, of uh, adding uh, vectors graphically. The basics in the next video, I'll do a specific, two specific examples.